His name was Ah Go Zero. What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero back again with episode 5 of Pokemon Red Nuzlocke Randomizer. Thank you for joining me as always. And as that sign just read, we have made it to Cerulean City. But, but we are not going to take on Misty just yet. We're going to go have a look around town. Except for the bike store, we know we can't get the bike until we go speak to the Pokemon Fanatic fan club uh, leader, if you will. But we're going to go visit Bill first, take on Nugget Bridge take on anybody that stands in our way go get the SS and ticket off of him and then go battle Misty and then in the next episode I'm going to save all the encounters around the area for a Pokemon catching episode on our way to Viridian City is it Viridian or no it's Vermilion Vermilion City yes my mistake I do apologize but if you have been enjoying Pokemon on the channel, guys, smash that thumbs up button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new and haven't already, smash that subscribe button and become a part of the God Zero Nation, growing each and every day thanks to your support. And I cannot thank you guys enough. All right. He wants to trade a War Turtle for a Lilligant. You know what? Even if I had a War Turtle, would not give it away for a Lilligant because Squirtle is one of my all time favorite Pokemon. And I would not compromise giving that away for something stupid like a Lilligant. No, I don't want to learn anything about the badges. I'm just having a conversation, making sure we chat to everybody on the way through. Leave no stones unturned. I know there's one house we can't get into yet because Team Rocket's rolled it. And that is the house over here. But I do believe we are about to meet Dingus again and he's going to battle us just before we hit Nugget Bridge. So here we go. Yo, Gun Zero. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great, I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, I'll show you what I caught, God Zero. Here we go. Dingus wants to fight. He's got an Avalug. Well, 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 well. I have a crit with a one. And we're gonna roll with the double kick. Oh, that's big tap. Oh, no, 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 no. Have I just made a mistake? Oh, it's going for Skull Bash. That's bought us perfect amount of time. We almost lost our first Pokemon. Holy crap. Well, we're getting him straight out of there. We're swapping out Crawdaunt. Um, Krupal. Krupal with the clutch. Krupal's probably the strongest one we've got on the team at the moment, so we've got to make sure we capitalize when we can. Vice Grip won't do much. Two wing attacks and Crawdorn's dead. What's next, Dingus? Furfuru. We can send out Huntington for Furfuru because Furfuru is a normal type. Should one hit KO it with a low kick? I'm wondering what level Timber evolves because level 17 already, we haven't seen anything in the way of well, level 18. So there you go. Hapini. Uh, Lati Jost for some experience points, I suppose, and then we'll swap back to Huntington for another low kick. Because this will do bugger all. Yep. I seriously need to find some moves for Latios to learn. This is ridiculous. I can't wait to find a TM for Confusion or something like that. Something that can do some real damage. Lati Jost went to level 16. Huntington stays at 18. Is that enough for an evolution? No, it's not. Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's a world famous Pokemon thing and he did the box and I'm going to call my mum for a Coke and I'll smell you later, Godzilla. Hey. All right. See you later, Dingus. We're going to whack a heel on at the Poke Center before we even go anywhere. And I think what we'll do is we'll also shift the order of our Pokemon around so it goes from weakest to strongest so we can start getting some XP points on Mr. Mousy. I think that'll be good. So let's swap it around here. Perfect. We'll lead with Mr. Mousy, get some XP for him, and then what we'll do is we'll swap 
Mr. Mousy and Crit with a one around and try to get those guys leveled up as quick as we can. Crip with a one, of course, now rolling with four kick variation moves, so it's going to be very OP when it comes to battling some normal type and some rock type and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Bug Capture has a Lilligant. Not a bad sprite. We're going to swap straight out to Krupal for a wing attack. One hit KO. Because we could go with Latoast, but Latoast is also a water typing, so we don't want to risk like a pedal dance or something like that. This should knock it out one hit. Perfect, it's a crit as well. Krupal coming in with the crits all the time. Zatu. We can swap to... Huntington, I think, because Huntington knows Rock Throw. And that should almost one hit KO Zatu, so... Hopefully we can land it, and we do, and that should be a one-hit KO. Brilliant. Mr. Mouse is level 13, and learnt Fury Swipes, awesome. Alright, that's one down. Four to go. I'm pretty sure it's five trainers on Nugget Bridge. Then we get ourselves a Nugget, which we can of course trade in for $5,000. Gonna come a long way into buying us some potions and some more Pokeballs. Hit him on top. You'll probably go to Latoast and use Peck. Probably one or two Pecks will do it, I reckon. It's not going to one-hit KO it. It's going to fall just short. Yeah. But that's going to kill it. And we should go up to level 19. Yes. Bubble Beam. Sweet. All right, we can get rid of Bubble and we'll learn Bubble Beam in its place. We're keeping Swords Dance. We're never getting rid of Swords Dance. That's just going to come in the clutch, especially when it comes to the Pokemon League at the end of the game. Uh, crit with a one? No. Yes. But we're not going to battle, because we're going to get Krupal out there. Oh, thank Christ it used a move like that. This might be a one-hit KO. Not even a crit, just a one-hit KO on an Alakazam. Okay, I'll take it. Alrighty. It's been good so far. We haven't come across anything like a... Le <sighs> just as I was about to say legendary, this kid just happens to have a Deoxys on the bridge. Wow. And it knows rap. Okay, so at least it's not going to deal big damage. Let's hit it with wing attack. Is it going to one hit KO? I hope it does. Get him out of here. Get that trash out of here. Mr. Mousy already up to level 15. Three levels already from the bridge. Let's go out with Huntington and use a rock throw. Please land it on the first go, Huntington. Thank you. And that's going to kill him off. All right, what's in store? Chimeco. Does rock throw do damage to... It's going to use a rat, so we'll find out in a minute, I suppose. Now, what I was thinking too, guys, it might be just me, but being my first Nuzlocke, I'm still trying to get my head around the rules and stuff, and I've noticed that some people that play Nuz Nuzlocke on YouTube, they stick with their team of six and they don't catch any other Pokemon. They wait for one of them to die before they go do it. What we're going to do, because it's our first Nuzlocke, we're going to continue catching Pokemon, throw them in the box, and we're only going to bring the ones out that haven't officially died. So we haven't lost any at the moment. Ardios is in the box already as a backup. And then once we do have one that dies, Ardios will obviously fill that slot and so on and so forth. Moving forward, however, in any other Nuzlocke I do, I think what we'll do is we'll focus on keeping the six and then we'll go catch a new Pokemon if one of them dies. I think that's how we're going to do it. But for now, we're going to catch anything that comes our way. Not this episode, however. This episode is focusing on the gym battle and visiting Bill. So the two encounters that we've got in this area... I think it's two, might only be one. Either way, that encounter or encounters will be done at the start of the next episode. And Krupal breaks through the confusion. That should be a one-hit KO on Trevenant. Thank you very much. Trevenant would have been sick to pick up early on too. But I'm not complaining. We've got Timber. And Huntington has been coming in clutch. And a peck should kill off Petalil. 
see you later. Crit as well. He is La Toast. We're smashing through Nugget Bridge. Number five already, and then the Team Rocket member, obviously, at the end of the bridge. Alright, what have we got? A Swallow. We know just how OP a Swallow can be, because Krupal comes in the clutch. So let's hope it doesn't use Wing Attack. Oh, crap. That's going to almost kill me. Oh, hang on. Let's get... No, we're going to get Krupal out. We're going to get Krupal out. Um, Lati Jost, maybe? But they're not going to deal that much damage. I'm really worried now. We could potentially use our first Pokemon here if we don't play. Oh, and it's going to do minimum damage. All right. Let's use a potion and heal up Krupal in case we need to swap out the Krupal again. I think that is the best move here. Let's try to use another side wave. Please hit for decent amount. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks, game. Come on. Take a big chunk. That's not bad. That's better. That's better. Can we get Krupal out in time? Withstand the wing attack, Krupal, please. And we can because we're going to be faster than their Swallow. That should be dead. Awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I thought we were going to lose Krupal with that crit before. All right, here we go. You just earned Godzilla. Received a nugget. And he's going to offer us the chance to join Team Rocket. But we're going to tell him to shove it. And now he wants to battle. If you short a Maldo. Very nice. Uh, crit with a one, maybe with some double kicks. Only water gun, so that's good. Let's get some double kicks on him. It's not going to do much damage, but... That's still a decent amount, and it's going to use Harden, so this should kill it. Awesome. What have you got next? Hippopotas. Double kick should... Double kick affects Hippopotas less. Wow. I thought... Okay. Did they take away dual typing in the original? Because I thought fighting moves were good against Hippopotas in that generation. Yes, we could become a top leader in Team Rocket. That might be some foreshadowing to something that's going to come to the channel in the near future guys so keep an eye on that so hit that notification bell if you haven't already so every time a brand new video comes to the channel you get made aware of it straight away let's just throw on a heal what we could do here is we could go battle misty we could go battle misty but you know what we're not going to we're going to go visit bill we're going to commit to visiting Bill, get our SSN ticket, and we will end the episode with battling Misty and the two trainers inside her gym. I think that's the best way to end the episode off. Today's question, if you haven't looked at the layout, guys, what is your favorite Pokemon type? I asked this question, obviously, because Misty is a water type trainer and Brock obviously specializes in rock. If you were a Pokemon trainer in this universe and you only collected a certain type of Pokemon, which typing would it be? Would you be a fire type trainer? Would you be a water type trainer, a rock type trainer, a fairy type trainer? What would you be? I'm torn between fire and water purely because I've always been a fan of the water starter Pokemon. I think they've been absolutely great. I mean, Piplup, Totodile, Squirtle, Froakie, on and on and on. And there's other Pokemon like Sharpedo and Lapras and all those type of Pokemon that I think would be great. But then I'm a huge fan of Arcanine. Arcanine and Growlithe are probably up there with my favorite all-time Pokemon, as well as Houndour and Houndoom, which I mentioned in the last episode of this. So... I don't know, I might be a mix between fire and water, I'm not too sure. But let me know in the comment section below what typing or dual typings would you be as a Pokemon trainer if you were building your own Pokemon team based around types. There's going to be a different question every time a new episode comes to the channel, guys. 
So make sure you get active down in the comment section below, show some love, and get the chat going. While we keep grinding through these battles. Alright, we've got a lass with a Kakuna. Okay, we can take out a Kakuna. Uh, Latos can take out a Kakuna with some pick. We don't want to risk it having something like Twin Needle. I don't think you can learn Twin Needle until it becomes a B drill. I think. Though we don't want it dropping a bloody bug type move on Mr. Mousy and wiping Mr. Mousy out. And of course there's a Mesprit. Now off camera guys, I obviously went back through Mount Moon and got the items that we were missing. One of them was a TM, another one was a potion. And there was a lot of Mesprit in there that popped up in the wild as well as Reggie Steel. So there's another two Pokemon that is going to be able to be caught once we head into a cave. That just makes everything the more exciting. We could potentially pick up another legendary Pokemon. And we've seen a fair few of them. We've seen Cresselia. We've seen someone with a Darkrai. We've seen someone with a Lugia. We've now seen Mesprit. We've seen Reggie Steel. Deoxys on the bridge. Should I keep going? The legendaries are endless. We started with Latios and a heat ran as a possibility. However, I don't know, because the capture rates are randomized, I don't know how they're gonna go about being caught. We could use every single one of our Pokeballs and not catch them, but it could have the catch rate of a Caterpie where one ball and then boom, it's done. It's gonna disable Rock Throw, but that's fine because we're gonna use Pound. Jiggly Jiggly is now diddly diddly dead. Pseudo Wudo, we'll send out Huntington, low kick. What do you mean send out Huntington, Godzilla? Huntington's already out there, what are you talking about? Here we go. Dead. Who's next? Level 20, is he pushing an evolution, Blastoise? Oh yeah. Uh, we're going to keep Huntington out with a low kick, because I think it does more damage the heavier the Pokemon. Yeah, so a couple of low kicks will kill it. Uh, it's going to use Bubble. It's not going to do much damage, even as a Blastoise. Awesome. Low Kick, dead. What do you got for me, Ordino? Low Kick should kill it. Huntington's going to go for the clean sweep. Huntington, my man. Level 21. Is he going to evolve yet? Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you know. No evolution. If you know what level Timber evolves at, let me know in the comment section below. It could be different because it's Pokemon Red and they changed the evolution levels, I don't know. But this is the last battle, guys, before Bill's house. Lass has three Pokemon. She's got a Stoutland, so we're going to send out... I think we're going to send out Huntington again. Let's keep getting some levels on Huntington. A low kick should one-hit KO it, because it's a huge Pokemon. Don't flinch, thank you. That's dead. Awesome, thank you very much. Okay. Let's look at Zoroark. Zoroark is going to be a one-hit KO as well. That, guys, if you're not aware, that is what Mr. Mousy is going to look like once he evolves. It's going to be great having a Dark-type Pokemon in the team that looks as beast as that. The Sprite wasn't too bad. And with Provo Pass being the last, this is going to be one-hit KO, and Huntington has done a clean sweep again. Getting all the XP, Huntington, and it still won't evolve. It's 22, the level. No, it's not. All right, let's go talk to Bill. He's gotten himself in trouble by turning himself into a Pokemon. All right, get in the machine, Bill. I'll give you a hand. Let's do it. By helping him transform back into his normal self, he's gonna give us a ticket to the SSN, which we get the HM cut, as well as picking up some other bits and pieces as well along the way. Plenty of trainers to battle with as well which is awesome. Give me the SSN ticket, baby. Thank you very much. Vermilion City. I knew I was right. Viridian City is the city at the start. I apologize. All right, here we go. We're gonna bypass the trainers. We're gonna head back to Cerulean City. It's time to take on Misty and her gym to round out this episode. As I said, guys, there is a patch of grass to the left of Cerulean between Cerulean and Mount Moon. We can get an encounter there, and that is where we're going to kick off the very next episode, being able to get another Pokemon. If it's good enough, it might come into our team. You don't know. 
if I was looking at replacing a Pokemon, depending on what type we get, it might be Mr. Mousy that takes a back seat. I'm not 100% sure yet. Unless Mr. Mousy can come in the clutch and start learning some decent moves. If not, I'm actually... <laughs> It's getting to a point, Lati Jost might be taking a back seat because Psywave is the only move. We can't really afford to be sitting here on our hands and have Psywave doing next to no damage. If it doesn't start learning moves quick, I'm going to swap it out. You heard it here first. And I'm big on always having the starter in my team from start to finish. So, and it's going to hit me with Stun Spore. Can we hit the wing attack anyway? It'd be great if we could. Thank you very much. So we've come into a water type gym. Jumpluff, the first Pokemon. Volcanian. A Volcanian. A Volcanian. Are you kidding me? The sprite is something to be desired, but another legendary? I know Bubble Beam's not going to do much because it's a fire water typing. Yes, you heard me correctly. Let's use another Bubble Beam. And it's a good thing I've got some Paralyzed Heals in my bag. A Volcanian! What the hell is a Volcanian doing in... Well... And see, I don't know if they've taken out dual typings in this Pokemon Red Nuzlocke Randomizer, so... Because it wasn't damaged all that much, maybe Volcanian's a water typing? I'm not sure. Let's just go with Krupal. Let's just get the wing attack on. I should have used Paralyzed Heal before I even got into this match. And she's going to wrap me. I should have probably used that chance there to put on the Paralyzed Heal. Oh, keep wrapping me. Go on. Keep wrapping me because I'm an idiot. I keep pressing fight. Yep, yeah, fully paralyzed. I'm an idiot. Come on, let's get the Paralyzed Heal on. I should have done this before we even got in the fight. God, Zero, what are you doing? Wing attack. One hit KO. Let's do it. Nope, just short. Oh, Growl's not going to do much chingling. Get out of here. See you later. Thanks for trying. Do you have any other Pokemon or was it just chingling? It was just chingling. That's cute. Alright, Misty. See, what is your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Going back to the question of the day that I presented before. Here we go. Misty wants to fight. She's going to lead with... A Nidorino. Very different. Let's get Huntington out there. Will a low kick do damage? Peck. Oh no, what was I thinking? It's going to use X Defend. Is low kick going to do any damage? No, it's not. Uh, let's get you out of there then. Let's go with... Krupal. Okay, let's get a wing attack on it. What does wing attack do? Not too bad. A crit? Uh, no, I don't want to risk Grupal. Um, Latoast. Do we send Latoast out? This will be a test to see if it is... It's still got its dual typing, so there is dual typing in this game. Okay. So we've got to get Latoast out of there, but we'll, do we take our chances and use the potion on Krupal? As long as he doesn't get a crit. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Get him out of there. All right, Krupal. Clutch it. Clutch it, clutch it, clutch it. Awesome. Awesome, thank you. Oh my god, we almost lost Latos and a Piplup. No, I'm confident we can do it with Krupal. One or two wing attacks should be enough, and Piplup's not going to learn that much of a move set to take us on. She's going to waste a turn using X Defend, and we can whack on the wing attack, and that's our second badge. Awesome. Oh, thank Christ. I am so thankful we did not lose any of our Pokemon then. 
Pokemon up to level 30 obey. We can use cut anytime. And we're going to get a TM, and I'm pretty sure it's Bubble Beam. I'm going to check if it is Bubble Beam and if Latios can learn it. Because if Latios can learn Bubble Beam, I'm using it. It's not that big of a move, but I'll take it. I'll take anything that's going to deal more damage than Psy Wave. Come on. No, it cannot. It cannot learn it. What's this? Thunder Wave. It can learn Thunder Wave. I could use it as a stat dealing status dealing Pokemon. No, I don't think I will. But there you go, guys. Cascade Badge locked down. That's it for this episode. Thank you for joining me as always, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash that thumbs up button to show your support. If you're new and haven't already, smash that subscribe button and become a part of the Godzilla Nation. Hit that notification bell while you're at it, guys. So every time a brand new video comes to the channel, you're made aware of it straight away. My social media links for Facebook and Twitter are down below. Go hit me up on those. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.